I've been a dreamer, settled for less. I've been a fire, I've been the rain, I've been a circle, closing again. But you can trust me with your heart, cause I know what it's like to fall apart. Lost my defense. I've been in trouble. I have been safe. I've been abandoned. I found a way, and you can trust me with your heart. 'Cause I know what it's like to fall apart. Hold your breath. Take a leap. It's wonderful to come talk to you today. I always miss you, so I'm always so happy to be able to talk to you. You know, last Sunday it was uh, a very bluesy kind of Sunday. Uh, it was overcast, and you know the kind of overcast you get in March, and it's starting to get a little warm, and you know spring is on its way. And so I was kind of driving around in the country, and I got a little bit lost actually. And all I was trying to do was get to Target because I needed to get a new shower curtain. So now usually what I do is I go and I'll get like. 12 things and then I'll come home and I'll have everything but the shower curtain but I actually did go to Target and I actually did buy a, a white shower curtain that I needed and I got a few other things. I had worried this week that I was not exfoliating as much as I should. I started to have a few little dry patches around my nose and that has never happened to me before because I have very oily skin. So I thought, you know, I really have to bump up the exfoliation. So I went on YouTube and I looked at some of the reviews of certain home exfoliators. And the one that kept popping up was the Derma E uh, Microdermabrasion Scrub with Sea Salt. And the, it, that one attracted me a lot because it also, it not only exfoliated and helped remove dead skin cells, but it also said that it detoxed your skin. So all those pollutants that we take in every day, all the chemicals that make us look dull and gray and harm our, our skin and age us, well, that particular product uh, is claiming that it detoxes our skin, so it's like a spa treatment. And for me, it was a little spendy. It was between $25 and $30. But I thought, well, if it works, it's absolutely worth it. Uh, so I did. I, I bought it. And it is the Derma E Microdermabrasion Scrub. And it's very interesting because it says the directions are to put it on wet skin and put it on for one minute and uh, rub it around you know in circular motions all over your face for one minute and then rinse it off and I found I'm a rebel but I didn't think a minute was long enough and all the reviews that I saw uh, the gals were uh, keeping it on for three minutes so I did the three minute uh, workout <laughs> and I did really enjoy that and I thought it worked out really really well but uh, this is what the product looks like. Uh, I did use this this morning and I did film it. So you can see sort of, you know, a little demo of <laughs> what it's like to slap sea salt on your face for three minutes. But it smells heavenly. It smells like lemons. And so it kind of transports you into a lovely, wonderful, calm place. And uh, 
So I really enjoyed it. I had it on for three minutes and uh, I rinsed it off and you know it, it's funny too. It, it didn't hurt but you could really tell when you were massaging it into your face that it was really doing something and it felt a little prickly and I'm assuming those are the sea salt granules but you really felt like you were doing something pretty important and uh, it wasn't that it hurt but it, it wasn't pleasant so I rinsed it off after three minutes and the thing that strikes you the most about it is is that your face feels so firm after you do it and not firm like you know when you use too much soap on your face or you use a cleanser that's too strong and then your face is tight and dry not like that this was like firm like you just had a lift that that's what it felt like the other thing I noticed too was that it's probably the sea salt um, but it sort of gave me a glow, but not one of those like artificial light glows like from a bronzer. I mean a real glow, uh, kind of a pink, you know, just ran up the stairs glow. <laughs> so, um, so I've used it twice and it says, you know, to use it twice a week, but if you have sensitive skin, you're only going to be able to use this maybe once every two weeks. Uh, I did see one review where the gal used it once per month uh, and she actually did compare it to a professional salon microdermabrasion scrub so I was pretty impressed so yeah I think it was $25 pretty well spent because you know when when we exfoliate properly then all the products that we use uh, they sink in deeper and they penetrate deeper and they work more efficiently so exfoliation is probably one of the most important things that we can do for our skin. So I should have been doing this a long, long time ago. So um, yeah, this is probably going to last me six months. So I'm kind of happy and I, I will absolutely report back to you on how it's doing. I've been a dreamer, settled for less. I've been a fire, I've been the rain, I've been a circle. The Sonia Kashuk uh, blush and bronzer. This is the most beautiful blush I have ever seen in my entire life. Uh, I hope you can see this. It says 53 glow on the back, but it is so beautiful. And it's so perfect for spring and summer. Um, just this beautiful, lovely peach tone, and it 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 just lays on your skin and looks so pretty and natural. Another thing yeah. I bought is the e.l.f. Illuminating Primer. I always wanted to try an, an illuminating primer and I never uh, got a chance to do that. So I've been wearing this this week and I've been really enjoying it. I have also been enjoying the IT Cosmetic Superhero Mascara. Look at that. It's absolutely, look at that wand. That is just huge. And it just lifts up that, it, it takes up so much of the lash. It's just, it's this very long, skinny one, so you can really get in there with your lashes. So, my friend Donna, one of my very first friends that I ever made on YouTube uh, was Donna Rhodes. And she had written a tag called uh, the Dig Deeper tag, and I think it's one of my favorite tags that I've ever done. It's, it's just an amazing tag. It's only five questions, but she wrote five great questions. And the best tip I ever got in my whole life was from Donna. And she was the one that told me you have to set your eyeliner with eyeshadow and then it won't transfer. So Donna was so sweet. She sent me the Superhero It Cosmetics Mascara. And I have been loving it all week. So thank you, Donna, so much. And thank you for all your tips and thank you for your channel. My other friend, Wanda, uh, a beautiful lady from Georgia, and she has a channel called Lady W. She has been helping me try to find a mineral 
foundation, a powder, mineral powder foundation for my skin this uh, summer so I can, you know, be at the beach and be, you know, hanging out on the boat and look uh, uh, very natural, um, something that sometimes a liquid foundation can't give you. And she also helped me with these uh, BH Cosmetics brushes. These are the most beautiful, soft, lovely brushes. And I have uh, filmed them in the other parts of the video, but they're so they're not only soft and beautiful and work so wonderful and move the product around so sweetly, they also are the cutest and most cheerful brushes I've ever seen in my life. They kind of remind me of uh, the early '60s and uh, like uh, remember those movies by Annette Funicello and uh, Frankie Avalon boy am I dating myself I don't care um, yeah you know the Gidget kind of movies um, that's what it reminds me of just you know the 50s and I, I absolutely love them just, even if they were horrible brushes I would just love them because they just look so cute but they're not horrible brushes they're wonderful brushes they're reasonably priced and I'm actually going to get another set but thank you Wanda thank you Wanda so much for helping me with so many different things so I don't know I'd be lost without you alright so I got a wonderful new microdermabrasion scrub that I am loving I got a new primer I got a new blush and bronzer I got new brushes and I got a new mascara so I had a pretty busy week <laughs> by the way you know I got a message a couple months ago a private message through YouTube uh, from a very nice woman and she did not mean this mean but she but asked me why I had not had my mole on my face removed and she said that the procedure was quite simple. She had had it done and it wasn't that expensive. And that I could have my, my, uh, my mole on my face removed. And she wanted to know why I, I hadn't had that done. You know with me, there's a story behind everything. But uh, when I was eight years old, I was riding my bike and I was going at, I was going down a hill with my bike and I was really going fast, really fast and I lost control of my bike and I flew into the air my bike hit a rock I flew into the air and I smacked into a fire hydrant I mean the impact of me hitting that fire hydrant was amazing from the way the neighbors described the accident to my mother they thought it was a miracle that I hadn't died it was very serious and it was a horrible accident well, I survived. I not only survived it, but the only thing that I really had to show for that horrible accident was this mole. <laughs> I don't know why, but the, the impact, for some reason, my jaw wasn't broken, my face, the bones of my face weren't broken. All I got was this lousy mole. I suppose if I made my living on TV or if I was in the movies, maybe I would think about getting it removed. But, uh, you know, it doesn't really bother me. And so I just think of it as uh, something that is a happy reminder uh, that I survived something that was pretty terrible. And I would come to sort of make my peace with that and realize that that is been sort of the theme of my entire life. So I don't know, you know, I, I hope it doesn't offend people. Uh, you know, I kind of hesitated to even bring it up, but I just wanted to tell you that um, I kind of, I kind of rather like my mall. It is part of me. It is part of my history. It is part of who I am. And you know, that's all I have to offer you it is me. And I kind of like it.
circle again and again.